Hey there, welcome to the day 2263 of What You Have to Now. Sharon Hornell from here. And today, a couple of pieces of content that I've created already, and we're going to talk about briefly are number one, the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, private, not private Facebook group, the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. To do one thing every day to grow in some area or aspect of our life. And this month, we're focusing on our physical growth, it might be our environment, it might be our physical body, our health, our well being, et cetera. And today, we, yesterday, we picked an area to improve with respect to our physical growth. And I picked uh, movement, exercise, activity because. We're going to apply the SOAP process to it. And the SOAP process stands for Story, Options, Action, and Progress. And it's a pro it's a, a an improvement process that I've got installed in my subconscious, and so do thousands of other people, if not hundreds of thousands of other people at this point, because I've been sharing it for four years. Uh, came up with it during the pandemic. Now, I've always had a process for dealing with obstacles, setbacks, challenges, stuff that comes my way, problems. Try not to say the P word, but there, we all have problems and situations that come up that aren't ideal. And how we deal with them, a lot of times it's just emotional, ad hoc, uh, ignoring it, uh, procrastinating, etc. And that wasn't serving me very well, especially when the pandemic hit and so many things were changing simultaneously and so many things were outside of our control. I needed to wrap my arms around and my hands around an idea that gave me back personal control and personal responsibility for the choices and decisions and, and things that I did moving forward. We've always needed to do that, but we don't always consciously do it. So I came up with this SOAP framework and started sharing it so that I could practice it and install it in my subconscious. So now whenever anything comes up, I automatically on a subconscious level run through this process and then respond. Uh, and it, it can happen instantaneously, right? But if it's a bigger thing, then I have to put it into my conscious mind and I have to actually go through the process step by step. So every month we pick the area that we're working on, one thing that we want to improve, and we go through the SOAP process over the next four days. Today is step one, which is story or situation. We want to look at both our current situation and our desired situation or our current story. What are we telling ourselves right now about this? What am I telling myself right now about my physical activity level and what do I want my story to be? What do, what do I want my situation to be? <clears throat> what I'm telling myself is a whole lot of lies and a whole lot of nonsense and a whole lot of excuses and a whole lot of reasons why I haven't been at the activity level that I know is right for me. And how did I come upon that? Because that leads to my desired result that I want is that I am doing something physically active, moving uh, to improve my flexibility, my strength, my uh, motion, etc. every single day. And it isn't just like I'm doing five deep knee bends or something. It's at least a half an hour. And I probably want to go an hour a day. I usually do an hour a day, but for all kinds of reasons in my life and excuses, I have for the last six months been a little bit lackadaisical on that. And it's not okay because I don't have the energy I want. I don't have the flexibility or the strength that I want. Uh, and I have little aches and pains coming up like in my shoulders that I've never had before. I don't want them. So what's my current story? What's my desired story? For Supersize Your Business today, we talked about Agile Methodology strategy for growing and building your business. And to me, Agile Methodologies, which came from a bunch of software developers who created the Agile Manifesto because they wanted to make things better in the software development world. Uh, and a lot of other businesses prior to and after that have been flexible. I, my life, it's always been, hey, agile, flexible. I think flexible, other people with different ways of looking at it think agile, but it's the same actual thing. It's continuous improvement. It's uh, being situational. It's paying attention to your environment and all the other inputs and listening to your customers, especially, and getting their feedback and then saying, okay, well, what do we need to do with this to make the overall situation better for our customers or better for our employees or better for whoever the stakeholders are that are communicating with us? I, like I said, I call it flexible. So I shared um, some different reasons and then a process for doing that. How do you, if, you're, if your organization isn't particularly agile or flexible right now, but you want to be more that way to be more responsive to get a competitive advantage, how do you go about implementing that and doing that? So we talked about that today. Uh, brand new week, love new weeks. Looks like I'm traveling at the end of this week again or early next week, probably the end of this week, which means Saturday. I don't know yet. Uh, <clears throat> but that means I got a whole lot of stuff to add to my wagon <laughs> that weren't in my wagon before to get done this week. If I can help you anyway, ask. Have an awesome day otherwise, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.